Hey everybody, this is Jared and Katie at Mercedes-Benz of Westminster here to show you the new 2012 CLS 550. We're going to look at the front and the back. First, let's take a look at the headlights here. You'll see it's got 71 LEDs in it. It's a full LED headlight. Uh, go ahead and do the brights. There's your brights. This is a Mercedes-Benz intelligent light system. But beautiful lights down here. You've got these LEDs on the bottom as well. But let's go ahead and take a look underneath the hood next. We'll have a chance to walk around the car, start it. We'll also take a look at the interior as well. Just absolutely a gorgeous vehicle. This also has the new V8 engine. It's a bi-turbo V8 engine. Features 402 horsepower. Most importantly, 443 pound-feet of torque. And that is a plateau of torque from 1,800 RPMs to 4,700 4, RPMs. So that's going to provide you with uh, great acceleration at any point. Also direct fuel injection, and it has four valves per cylinder. But, uh, 25 also, miles to the gallon. Yeah, up to, up to 24 miles to the gallon. Wasn't that what it was? 24. So that's the new engine. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rear of the car as well. Absolutely beautiful styling cues, as the CLS is known for. All right, Katie's going to go ahead and tap the brake lights for us, but an unmistakable brake light just looks absolutely beautiful. All right, Katie, go ahead and start it for us. You can really hear that uh, bi-turbo whistle hit from the outside of the car and nice throaty exhaust. Uh, the interior is extremely well done. We'll take a look at the seats, the dash, the new layout, Here's your navigation, nice wood trim, the layout of the buttons is all done extremely well. iPod there in the center console. Also, Jared, we want to mention that this has got a USB port in the center console for yeah. the first time as well as your 12 volt. So adjustable suspension, dual zone climate control. This has heated as well as air conditioned seats. And great parking sensors along with park assist, one yeah. of our new features. So definitely a beautiful car. New gauges. You want to take the camera over? Absolutely. Cool. Well, thank you for tuning in, everyone. Please uh, let us know if you're interested in one of these. We have the CLS 550, the CLS 550 Formatic coming in the fall, and then also the CLS 63 AMG available. Um, so this is the new CLS. Thanks again for watching, and we'll look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. That little sensor on the side of the bumper is going to read it's going to start looking for an open space. It's got to be under 22 miles an hour, and you'll see the little P box come on. As he comes past this vehicle, he'll get up towards the front of it, and all of a sudden you'll see this little arrow to the right. That says that it's now found a spot on the right. Now, if you're on a one-way street and you want to watch the left, just turn on your left turn signal. It'll watch the left side for you. So he's going to come up. It'll say that there's a spot, he'll stop, he'll put it in reverse, and then it'll ask him if everything is okay. He'll look for a mix. You've got to look and make sure there's not a fire hydrant or no parking sign or something like that. So make sure everything's clear, you hit okay, and then you can take your hands off the wheel, but you have to control it with the brake and the throttle. And it actually, the faster you go, it almost seems to respond better. Don't go too fast. But you do have to make sure you watch your right mirror for the curb and watch your backup camera. If you get close to that curb, you can stop, put it back in drive, and then still leave your hand off the wheel. It'll compensate while you go back forward and maneuver back and forth. 
So, go ahead, Robert. Just looking for the spot. Just give him an arrow. Puts it in reverse. Tells okay. Nothing in the way. Hands off the wheel. Take it for right here, and your backup light. Backup camera. That's so cool. <laughs> 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 you ah. And very quick. So, so can you can you say how far you want it to go? No, you cannot specify that. It's oh. it pretty tight. And, and it take a look. Puts it on the curb. Very close. Not on the curb, but within two. Yeah. Oh. All right. So who wants to go next? You should put the driver's seat in. Um, Again, keep so your cool. eye on that rear view camera. And I'll get right And the other thing that we found is that the tighter the vehicle, as far as front to rear, you need to keep a little more space away from them as you're coming up on the side. It gives a little more room to maneuver. So if it's like down in Chicago where it's a little tighter, you'll want to stay a little ways away. Okay, now, hands off the wheel. Put them up through the center so you don't have a temptation to no, that's okay. grab the wheel. Control it with your, your foot and your brake. Holy cow. You control the brake. That is cool, man. <laughs> wow. Got plenty of room. Coming. Keep right. coming, keep coming, keep coming. Okay. Keep good. Good. Now, drive. Keep your hand off. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I mean, Creep forward. So now it'll say, okay, you're done. That is cool.